Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. Good evening and welcome into the WHKY News for Friday, November 29th. I'm Ralph Mangum, and I certainly hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving day. Remember, you can watch the WHKY News each weekday on Over the Air TV on Channel 14.2, and you can find us on the Compass, SkyBest, Vibrant, TDS, and Comporium cable systems. We are also online anytime at WHKY.com and on our YouTube channel. In today's top stories, first we want to thank everyone who helped with our first ever Turkey Drop Wednesday presented by SureTape Technologies. We partnered with the Second Harvest Food Bank of Metrolina as the event raised $2,000 in cash. In addition, we collected 52 turkeys and three pallets of non-perishable food items. We are grateful to Second Harvest, SureTape, and all the volunteers who helped out here at the station, and of course, and especially, all the folks who donated. Whether it was a little or a lot, we appreciate you all. The hope is that this will become an annual event. We look forward to seeing it grow each year. Here's WHKY's Ariana Mack with the NCDOT's Brad Lale. Joining WHKY in Top Stories, Brad Lale with the North Carolina Department of Transportation. How are you? Well, I'm very good, Ariana. Thank you. Good. And Hurricane Helene did some real damage to roads. Have you ever seen anything like this in your position? No. Of course, uh, I've only been on the Board of Transportation for uh, about four years. Um, certainly nothing like this. We've had some pretty bad coastal storms. This is probably the most significant disaster in my lifetime in, uh, and I'm 58 years old in North Carolina. Um, and perhaps generationally, I mean, people compare it to the 1916 floods, but this was a major disaster. Of course. And now eight weeks out from that disaster, what improvements are you seeing? So I'm particularly proud to be associated with the, the, the North Carolina Department of Transportation whose crews have worked literally around the clock um, to restore and repair roadways. And the latest updates we're seeing is that hundreds of roads have been reopened that were closed um, you know, immediately following um, the storm. And that's through efforts of, um, uh, frankly, you know, NCDOT, staff, construction workers, engineers, you know, designers, environmentalists. I mean, it's taken an all hands uh, maneuver for sure. Some of these folks, uh, you know, relocated there um, and have lived in Western North Carolina for the past, you know, six weeks away from their families just so they could repair these roads. Of course, and if you had to kind of guesstimate, when would you say that 40 would be fully functioning? Uh, Even 2026 at least and, and that is uh, that that it pains me to say that I have two daughters that live in Nashville that's would be my primary route we expect sometime around New Year's fingers crossed that we could um, have a one lane of travel in each direction open okay significant delays probably still just you know in slow moving traffic but no long detours Thank you so much for joining us on WHKY. Brad Lale, I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. The latest unemployment numbers for the region and state have been released. WHKY's Rob Eastwood reports. Unemployment rates increased across the Hickory Metro and throughout much of the state, according to the latest report from the North Carolina Department of Commerce Labor and Economic Analysis Division. The report shows the unemployment rates for the month of October. Catawba County's unemployment rate increased to 3.3 percent from 3.1 in the previous report. Alexander County is showing a jobless rate of 3.2 percent. That's up from 3 percent even in September. Burke County's unemployment rate is 3.8 percent. That's up from 2.9 in the last report. Caldwell County has a jobless rate of 3.6 percent compared to 3.2 in September. The unemployment rate for the Hickory Lenore Morganton Metropolitan Statistical Area or MSA is 3.5 percent. That's up from 3.1 in the September report. Hickory Lenore Morganton has the eighth lowest jobless rate among 15 MSAs in the state. 
The statewide unemployment rate is 3.6 percent. That's up from 3.2 in the September update. Unemployment rates increased in 91 of North Carolina's 100 counties, decreased in three and remained unchanged in six. North Carolina's highest unemployment rate is in Buncombe County. It's 8.8 percent there. Currituck County has the lowest jobless rate at 2.6 percent. Reporting from Hickory for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. Survivors of Tropical Storm Helene in North Carolina may be eligible for continued rental assistance for temporary housing through FEMA's Individual and Households Program. FEMA pays rent, including a security deposit, at a place other than your damaged home. Your rental can be a house, apartment, hotel, or recreational vehicle that can keep you near your job, home, school, or place of worship. The assistance may include essential utilities such as electricity and water. Automated phone calls will notify those who may be eligible for continued rental assistance. Less than 10% of those who registered for disaster aid met the criteria for initial rental assistance. Extensions on rental assistance may be granted for three-month periods up to a maximum of 18 months from September 28th, which was the date of FEMA's disaster declaration. Individuals may qualify for continued assistance if they demonstrate disaster-related financial need and show that they are developing a longer-term or permanent housing plan or demonstrate progress toward such a plan. A contractor's estimate of repairs can indicate progress. A permanent housing plan is one that would put the applicant back into permanent, safe, sanitary, and functional housing within a reasonable time frame. Applicants must continue to work toward obtaining permanent housing to remain eligible for continued rental assistance. Learn more at FEMA.gov slash disaster slash 4827. Individuals may also contact FEMA at 800-621-3362 or visit a disaster recovery center. Hours and locations for those centers are posted at FEMA.gov slash DRC. All right, in today's crime report, Rob has the details on a sexual exploitation arrest in Statesville. In local sports today, news involving a former CVCC baseball coach, recognition for an LR men's soccer player, plus basketball from Appalachian State. In community focus, Ariana looks back at Turkey Tuesday in Lenore. Partly cloudy today with a high around 50, upper 40s tomorrow for LR's big playoff game right around 50 on Sunday, and then highs only in the low 40s Monday and Tuesday. Some chilly nights coming up as well, with overnight lows in the 20s tonight and all the way through Tuesday night. A little warmer starting next Wednesday. Go to whky.com for the latest forecast whenever you need it. I'm Ralph Mangum, and you are watching the WHKY News.